Getting set up for our c -sharp Web Driver and NUnit or Specflow course is quite simple and straightforward. There's just a few things we'll need to download and install in advance. First, we'll need to install any web browsers we plan to test against. Although we could use Windows 10's built-in Android Internet Explorer web browsers, we'll mainly use Google's Chrome web browser and perhaps occasionally Mozilla's Firefox web browser. So using your preferred search engine, download the installers for each web browser and start the installation process. We'll shorten the sequence by speeding the video up. Once each web browser is installed, check they launch OK, and then we can move on to the next install requirement. It's time to install Visual Studio, the IDE or Integrated Development Environment that will help us write our own code. There are actually a few different products, each sharing the Visual Studio name. For this course, ignore both Visual Studio for Mac and Visual Studio Code. They're both excellent IDs in their own right, but to follow along with our course, we need the product simply titled Visual Studio. Visual Studio itself actually comes in a few different editions. The Professional and Enterprise editions have additional features, but at a cost. The Community edition is free to use and has everything we need. Download and run the installer. It will begin downloading additional setup components before allowing you to configure and fine-tune your Visual Studio setup. Visual Studio can be customised to include support for a wide variety of development activities and languages. For C-Sharp, NUnit and Specflow based testing, select the .NET Desktop Development option. This presets a number of selectable options, which you can further fine-tune, but the defaults are fine for our purposes. To use Visual Studio Community Edition long term will require you to log in using a Microsoft account. These are free to obtain if you don't already have one, although most people will. If you really don't want to log in using a Microsoft account, a short term trial license is available. I'm going to log in using my own personal account, credentials obscured for obvious reasons. Logging in with a Microsoft account does have certain advantages. For example, as well as allowing long term use of the Community Edition, Visual Studio can also synchronize personal preferences across machines. Not only can Visual Studio be customised during setup, but it has an extensions mechanism allowing new features to be added post-install. There's no need to create a new project or solution to get into Visual Studio's proper user interface where we can install extensions. Note the small Continue Without Code link at the bottom of the Get Started section. Use the Extensions Manage Extensions menu option located at the top of the Visual Studio window. From the Manage Extensions dialog that opens, we can search online for new extensions, features and functionality to add to Visual Studio. The NUnit VS Templates extension is optional. It adds a number of boilerplate code templates that will save us a lot of typing when we create NUnit based tests. We do however need the NUnit 3 test adapter. This teaches Visual Studio what constitutes an NUnit test and allows Visual Studio to collate and show us any tests that we create inside of Visual Studio Test Explorer panel. From there, we can run our tests, organize them and see any test execution results. If you're also taking our Specflow BDD course, install the Specflow for Visual Studio extension. 
This teaches Visual Studio about feature files and allows Visual Studio to generate prototype definitions for any steps that are missing so-called glue code. It is now necessary to restart Visual Studio to allow the installer to download and install our extensions. All done! This final step is entirely optional. I like to pin Visual Studio to my Start Menu or Taskbar for quick access. This saves me from having to hunt through the Start Menu each time I want to launch Visual Studio. You should now be ready for your course, where we will run you through creating solutions, adding packages, and writing and executing your testing code. We look forward to your company.